Hi guys, happy Friday afternoon. I think it's around 3.30. I'm sitting outside the, um, the counseling center, um, mental health clinic, I don't know, whatever you want to call it. Um, and I just want to let you know that it went really well. I didn't know what to expect. I mean, I, I sort of did, you know, in a way because I've, I've gone through this before, but I, you know, I've been putting it off for a really long time because I'm kind of cynical about this whole process and how it's kind of a, um, an insurance factory where they kind of churn you in and spit you out. And it's like, you know, they either give you a pill or they don't, or you get caught up in this endless loop of group therapy and blah, blah, blah with varying degrees of success in my case over the years. I know it takes consistency and dedication and, um, but I'm such an incredibly sensitive person to my surroundings and to people that I, I know within five or 10 minutes if I'm going to um, gel with a therapist or not. And I knew straight away that this guy was great. He was the real deal. We had a wonderful first session. He talked to me for a really long time. I felt kind of bad in a way because he, he left his other client waiting in the waiting room. <laughs> and he was like, it's okay. There's a lot of magazines out there. Um, it was so great. I mean, I cried. I laughed. He, he kind of broke down some of my layers. And this was actually not supposed to be a counseling session. He told me it was actually supposed to all be just um, intake of information and background and um, medical health history and like sort of scratching the surface but we kept on like getting off onto tangents of stuff and he he gave me some great great things to think about like and also um, his office was beautiful and it was all done in like Native American art and stuff which resonates with me and um some of the music that was playing in there was so beautiful and it was so relaxing and I was telling him how much I loved it and so he loaned me uh, Can I Spirit of the World it's Native American flute music for meditation and like massage and stuff but he said yeah he says enjoy it listen to it in your car and just bring it back the next time you see me so I thought that was cool um, he's a guy from Brooklyn Italian you know white hair like probably someone that if you met him on the street you wouldn't think he was a therapist but he was great and he wasn't all what we call woo-woo. You know what I mean? It wasn't all like new agey kind of, you know. What I came away with mostly was just that he said, you know, okay, so your life isn't wonderful, but you're wonderful. And he said, um, the fact that you still have such a soft heart that can be so, so affected by things that are negative means that you're not as bitter and cynical as you think you are and all of the good things I'm able to see in others and wish for more of in the world is because it's already within me. I mean, he put it in a much more eloquent way than that. And it, but he put it in such a way also that it didn't sound like he was reading it out of a book or like, oh, that must be his page a day, you know, mental health calendar quote of the day or something. I didn't sense that from him at all. I sensed a very warm, patient, gentle, humorous kind of... Um, it was great. I'm really, really glad he's going to be my therapist. And um, they took my copay, just $15. And I've got um, already a psych exam evaluation on June 10th. So they're going to find out if I need meds or not. And I'll, you know, I'll be able to actually get like a diagnosis. Not, not that I want to be told again from yet another professional what I have or don't have, but it is going to help with... Um, with documentation for, you know, possibly getting out of my job or retiring or getting on SI or however it works in New York State. I don't know. I mean, I'm not talking about it as if it's some happy-go-lucky, like, you know, I would still struggle um, with these issues and with money, but it would be nice to not have to work so much, you know, because when you get SI, you get disability a certain amount. I think in New York it's between like twelve and sixteen hundred or something, and then they still allow you to work part time. And basically, I'm just trying to avoid complete burnout and like nervous breakdown, you know. Which, quite frankly, I've been feeling on the verge of lately. Anyway, it went well, and I just I have a good vibe from the place. Um, and believe me, as a denizen of many uh, a rehab and a clinic, I know the difference. I mean, I haven't, you know seen them all but I've seen enough all right so I'm gonna go now and put my clothes in the dryer at the laundromat 
Um, I won't even go into how bizarre work was this morning and early afternoon. Um, but I do think it's amazing that I stuck to my guns about leaving. Well, I didn't leave at 12. I left at 10 to 1. But as soon as I found out I had this appointment today, I was like, that's it. That's like a sign from the universe. Come hell or high water, I'm doing this. And I've got to put my mental health first before anything. And, um, and now I just feel like lighter and, and uh, unburdened from talking to him and being open enough to even cry. You know, we kind of got into some relatively deep shit there. So I'm going to go to the laundromat and put my clothes in the dryer, go to the post office box and, um, possibly get a bite to eat, but something light. Um, I'm craving a burger, but I think I might get a salad. So, you know, baby steps. I just wanted to let you guys know that it went well and, and thank you for thinking of me. I'll talk to you guys later. Bye.